गाइज माई नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी कैन लर्न हाउ टू सपोर्ट मल्टीपल थीम्स इन ए स्प्रिंग एम्बेसी वेब एप्लीकेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज माई रिक्वायरमेंट आई विश टू सपोर्ट टू थीम्स फॉर दिस वेब पेज रेड थीम एंड ग्रीन थीम रेड थीम मीन्स टू डिस्प्ले कलर ऑफ दिस टेक्स्ट स्टूडेंट एडमिशन फॉर्म for engineering courses in red color and green theme means to display color of this same text in green color and for this i would place two links on top of this web page with the name red and green so the idea is when a user requests for this web page by default this text would be shown in green color means using green theme and later user can click on any of the links red or green to change its color from green to red or vice versa now big question is what tasks i need to perform to make this happen guys to do so i just need to perform these three simple steps and i will be done first i need to include these three beans in the springs configuration file and then i need to put red and green links along with this statement in the admission form dot csp file and then i need to include two properties files with their related style sheets for the two themes which i wish to support for the application means for red theme and for green theme so let me very quickly make all these changes in the application and later i'll explain every single step mentioned here in detail so this is the spring's configuration file and here in the end i'm going to add these two beans theme source and theme resolver and here on top of spring's configuration file i have added third bean which is basically an interceptor with the name theme change interceptor as per the first step so here i have added theme resolver theme source and on top of this configuration file i have added theme change interceptor bean now in the admission form dot csp file i have here added two links green and red and this statement as per the second step and here i have added two properties files theme green dot properties theme red dot properties and their related style sheets style green and style red in the application as per the third step so let me show you this concept working on the browser and later i'll explain all these things which i've just performed in the application guys to reflect all these changes which i've just made in the application i got to restart the server so stop it and restart it again So server is started again. Now let's check it on the browser. Now after making all these changes, let's see what happens when I request for this same web page. Cool, it's displaying its color in green color and also showing red and green links on top of this web page. Now let's see what happens when I click on red link. Cool, it's displaying it in red color. and when i click on green it's displaying its color in green now let's understand what all things we performed in the application in detail in the admission form dot csp file if you observe we added green and red links and with these two links i'm passing here a parameter site theme equals green and site theme equals red so when a user clicks on any of these two links this web page requests for itself and along with that request it sends a parameter with the name site theme equals red or green to the server now on the server side before processing that request this interceptor which we added extracts the value of site theme 
and accordingly informs Spring MVC application to pick an appropriate theme related properties file and its corresponding style sheet and prepares the response accordingly. So when I click on red link, this web page sends a parameter site theme equals red to the server. And here this interceptor extracts its value and informs the Spring MVC application to pick this properties file theme hyphen red dot properties. And here this statement then would start looking for style sheet placeholder in that chosen properties file. So whatever value this placeholder has, this application will pick the style sheet placed at that location. So the application is going to pick this style sheet means styler.css file means this style sheet styler.css and then sends this style sheet along with the response object back to the client's browser and as a result I see web page which is displaying color of this text in red color and same is the case with green link guys in all this explanation I didn't explain you the meaning of uh, these two beans which I added theme source and theme resolver guys the purpose of theme source bean means resource bundle theme source is to load all properties files placed in the project which have theme hyphen as prefix in their names now what's the purpose of cookie theme resolver pin guys it's must to put an entry of this pin in the springs configuration file otherwise theme change interceptor bean won't work now in addition to this cookie theme resolver bean serves one more purpose which i have put on the screen try to understand it and if you find any difficulty understanding it please put all your queries in the comment section below and I'll try to resolve them as earliest as possible. All right. Guys, a big thank you for learning Spring MVC with me. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone to Series and I'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial.